Hey gang, Elizabeth here with Dandy Soap. Good morning and Merry Christmas. It is very early and not everyone has gotten up, so I'm going to do the star. I'm going to do the star for many reasons. Number one, the new year and celebrating. And number two, we will be into our midsummer and it will also work for Memorial Day, Veterans Day, 4th of July, so on and so forth, etc., etc. But I believe that the star is significant because it has five points and it's just an important representative. It's even the way that we represent the states, the 50 states on the United States flag. So a star is appropriate for any time of the year. With that being said, let's get to it. From the Dollar Tree, you will need at least two sets. These are the children's hangers. You guys know I do everything in small because I don't have the area or the room for large. But these can also be done in the adult clothes hangers. You will need 10. You will need a package of zip ties. These are the smaller ones. They're not as long. Either one will work. And you will need a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Now, let me say this before I get started. Number one, you do not have to drill a hole in these. You can use just the zip ties. You can also use floral wire or the pipe cleaners slash Chanel stems to tie these together. The main thing is to make them stable while they're tied together so that they will stay against something. So once you have it assembled and you get it hung, as long as it keeps its integrity, you're fine. The zip ties are just really quick and easy that anyone could do it. Cool. In each side of this with a quarter inch drill bit through this plastic in the center of this little plastic tab. If you're able to break that out, it's fine and you can get a tighter fit if you pull them together. But for intended purposes, I will be assembling mine with a zip tie and I will be drilling a quarter inch drill hole through each one of these. I do have my handy dandy Black & Decker drill. And if you guys ever have an opportunity, this is something you need to keep in your toolbox for your DIYs. And they're real, you can get these at Walmart and they're very reasonable. And this is going to be my helper. This is Aizawa. Me and Aizawa, our kitty cat. Hook is going to the left. And you just pull, just turn the right one all the way completely total. 360 you'll have one hook laying over here and one hook laying over there they're both laying together so whichever way that's going to make it easy for you to understand is you're going to basically take the one laying on top and you're going to turn it completely to the opposite side now however you need to do that and you will connect it here but then you're going to leave that just like that. Make five sets just like this one. Connect them right here in the hole. I have my sets together. I have all five of them. And as you can see, they are zip tied right here. Just like I told you. So we've got them connected. Now this is how you lay out your star in order to get it to come together. Just basically put one out there in front of you. Put your next set out there. Now look very closely. To form your inner star and your outer star, your points, you're going to basically hook these together. And as you put these together, it will take form. You will see it. And then you can separate out your sets as you need to. Make it look a little better. Okay. Now, as you can see, the way I've got this laid out, you will then connect your two points with a zip tie and once you get these two points connected at each intersection you will then have your beautiful five point star you put your hangers together then they should be resembling something like this so you've got your points together here and now you've connected them here so what you're going to have to do, as you can see, these are completely folded. You have your one that was on the right and your one that is on the left sliding underneath it. Connect them here, these two points. 
in order to keep it from opening up and swishing about. So I went ahead and I zip tied at those intersecting points of those hooks. And as you can see, the star is keeping its shape and I haven't used any hot glue or anything, but you know, it should be okay like when you're hanging it up. And as you can see, it keeps its form and it looks really good. So you could decorate it, put lights on it, uh, whichever you like, but just know that once you make your sets, you're then going to connect them together and then they'll join them together all the way around and then to keep it from swishing and the integrity, you know, it getting all lopsidey, you will take and the hooks here and here is roughly, this one measures approximately 31 inches by 31 inches. And so that makes you a nice size star out of the children's hangers. So I hope this helped everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, perhaps now you will. Please share it with a family or a friend. And here is your star for your new year. And this should be able to carry you through Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July, and all our celebrations. So for New Year's, I would just, if you decide to, put you some lights on it. But I'm going to be hanging mine outside. And I think it just looks awesome. Catch you later. Elizabeth signing off. Till the next DIY. Bye.